when you exploit the poor and the desperate in this video we're curing a thousand people's blindness all the way to almost eating yourself to death for views this video will cover exactly why these youtubers got featured in mid canyon's parody series and we're gonna begin by talking about colin bollinger also known as miranda singh who has had her career take a downward spiral as a result of an apology video she uploaded on her youtube channel colin vlogs fast forward three years after her initial apology video about allegations of her misconduct around minors, more videos of her former fans would start resurfacing all over the internet. This would prompt Colleen Bollinger to upload a video titled Hi on her vlog's channel, where she would address these allegations. However, unlike any other apology video on the internet, Colleen would take these serious allegations rather lightly, doing exactly what made her famous in the first place. All aboard the toxic gossip train. This would infuriate her audience, which would be evident from the video gaining an overwhelmingly huge dislike to like ratio, to which point she would start losing her subscribers in hundreds of thousands. However, the same wouldn't be said for Mr. Beast, who uploaded a video titled 1000 Blind People See for the First Time. 200 million people see the world like this. This video would go on to gain over 100 million views, which wouldn't be a surprise judging from his other videos. Wow. However, a few days after this video going live, this generous act out of the many he has done would spark backlash where allegations that Mr. Beast exploits the poor and the desperate for views. We're seeing people's healthcare be used as like clout harvest, virtue signaling as content. He's paying for this, but he's making up 55 million views or some shit in two days yeah i mean he already made the money back and full and more like this is the formula for this guy he spends a little money and he makes it at this point and like he's the philanthropist youtube guy and you see people do this type of content where they essentially exploit impoverished people for content harvesting their fucking tears and their struggle for the enrichment of themselves for pittance in their opinion i can hear like the liberal being like that's not what it's about it's like wholesome content and stuff and i'm like i know and there's a fundamental problem with us viewing this interaction as a wholesome one. This is disgusting. These allegations would be dismissed by another creator, Brent Cooper, who would state that this is a very kind and selfless thing to do in a video titled, Mr. Beast Ignore These Losers. It obviously very, very kind thing for Mr. Beast to do. Like that is putting it mildly. He spent thousands and thousands of dollars putting this together for 1,000 patients. And he is using his money and his ridiculously huge influence to make a difference in real people's lives. Now, there are a lot of bitter people in the world who have apparently hate that, who think that he is like the worst person on the planet, who find issue with the fact that he is using his money that he has earned to help people. Unlike Mr. Beast, Nico wouldn't be featured in Mid Canyon's parody series for the kindness of his heart, but rather a life-threatening reason. Since November 2022, there has been a feud between Charlie aka Penguin Zero and a former YouTuber turned Rumble streamer Sneeko. Hey Sneeko. You started shit with me by insulting me and my girlfriend out of nowhere, so naturally I responded by making fun of you in return and showcasing the reasons why I don't respect you. But unfortunately I failed to calculate just how much of a sensitive fucking loser you are, because this hurt your feelings to such a high degree it's become like an Armageddon in your brain. Three months you have continued to melt down about this. The day after I posted my response, he went on stream and had a huge unhinged tantrum and meltdown about the whole thing and then he sent some of his viewers over. So I was joking with them and it got really under his skin in a big way. So he started dancing around with a gun and threatening to come shoot me. You wanna watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips. You absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. They're mags, not clips, you absolute fucking dummy. The same way that this is also a mag. They're all mags. Stop saying clips, you look fucking stupid here. <laughs> I gotta find another clip! It's called a magazine. Despite the Sneeko and Penguin Zero not seeing eye to eye on most things, we would later find out that the two creators had a chat and ended their two year beef. I talked to Sneeko, and this was a very different side of Sneeko. I went into this expecting him to be his standard, unhinged, like very animated, cartoonish self that I see in all of his content on Twitter and Rumble. But here, 
This was a very laid back, very calm and collected Sneeko, who was actually more than willing to concede on some of his points as well as see different sides of situations. I'm actually pretty curious to see where Sneeko goes next because like I mentioned, there are some things that he just fully admitted, like maybe he was guilty of doing similar things that he criticized others for, and that he was going to be repurposing his message and changing things around to make it more conducive to positivity. So overall, the whole conversation went in a totally different direction than I expected. Of course, he's still very passionate about some things, and we still fought on quite a few things, and the reality is there's just a lot of things that I don't see eye to eye to him on with some of the things he talks about. But overall, I really walked away with a very different impression of Sneeko from this. With everyone owning up to their mistake, a concept far from possible with Nicocado Avocado, who ruined his life, but instead of taking responsibility for his poor choices and actions, he would decide to blame everyone except himself. <laughs> and it's your fault! Ooh, look at this though, mm, that's tasty. Nikocado Avocado is a 31-year-old YouTuber with almost 4 million subscribers on his main channel, where he predominantly uploads mukbang videos. Over the time, the bigger his audience grew, the more extreme the mukbangs, with little to no care for his health. This would prompt creators such as Charlie's, aka Penguin Zero, who would come out to state their concern for him. He is slowly killing himself and documenting the journey the entire time while having an understanding of exactly what he's doing. He's well aware that he is throwing away his health, his well-being, his happiness for the sake of some YouTube views because his audience continues to eat it up, much like he eats up a million fucking cheeseburgers every couple of days. Nikocado Avocado would see this as an attack. Who is this person? Who are you? Who is this? Penguins Zero. This person thought it would be cute to sit down on the computer and talk about my weight and my appearances and to fixate on how I look as if I don't have the right to exist because I happen to be because I happen to be a little overweight. This is an unfluffy person. Unfluffy! With his health starting to deteriorate, instead of taking steps to fix his issues, Nikocado Avocado would choose to blame his audience, where he would accuse them of encouraging him to consume more and more food within every video. They say, oh, we want to see you eat healthy. I did that twice on my channels. Two individual I, I meals? I only had two cheeseburgers instead of four. <laughs> oh, okay. And I got half the views. I wouldn't have become disabled if it weren't for you people who encouraged these videos. So people like to talk a lot, but they don't, but their actions speak louder than words. So, you know, ignore them. They're just noise. 